Hey guys, welcome to iPad Gaming. So in the last walkthrough, I managed to find the balcony key, and the weird thing is that I jumped inside this room, and <laughs> now I am stuck Have inside. Completed their chores. Obviously not. So let's get started. What the hell? Now I have to steal her master key. Mommy is exhausted. One of these days, you're all going to make me crazy. I don't have any other choice just to wait inside. <laughs> That's convenient. I can't take it anymore. So I'm going to steal her key. Let's see. Got it. Let's get out of here. I knew that something is about to happen. I guess it's time to run. Imagine if she can run faster. I don't know where I'm going. Maybe I will try to hide inside my favorite box. I can hear some footsteps. She's coming. Sure, hi. Hide away. Currently my objective is to defeat Andrea and the only way to defeat her is by doing the stealth attack. I cannot fight her face to face. Time to stab her from behind. Wait for me. Now she got the taste of her own medicine. She was stabbing me with her scissors. I don't know how many times I have died. This feels weird. She is not chasing me and there is no background noise. I think I have to do something else. So she dropped the keys. So I think it is a kind of boss fight. 
I have to defeat Andrea and looks like I don't have anything in my inventory. So I guess I have to find some knives or something to attack her. Looks like she is running faster than before. So I think I was complaining about having a lot of knives inside the hotel room and all around these boxes and cabinets but I can't seem to find any when I need it. I can hear footsteps but I don't know where she is and where she is going. <laughs> I need to heal. Jennifer is banged up pretty good. Oh thank god <laughs> I finally managed to find her. She is. How the hell she didn't notice me? one who actually gets any work done around here is me this is it guys time for do or die <laughs> what is this she's not dead okay so we finally managed to defeat her So the next objective is to leave the second floor. So I guess I have to take the keys and find a way out. <laughs> what the hell? This guy again? Am I dead? I think I died. So I think that was supposed to happen. No news regarding last night's massacre at the peaceful residence of Cerro Oscuro where the body of Richard Felton, a well-known notary, was found burnt in his own home. The man who was legally registered as Jennifer Richard Dean Felton and was found completely drenched in kerosene. The body of 38-year-old Gloria Ashman was also found at the scene. She was his personal assistant and a former nun at the Crystal Lorenzo convent. Her body was found mutilated after she was reported thrown out a courtyard-facing window, apparently following a heated argument. The neighbors claim to have spotted a distinctive woman lurking around the area, having parked a white van nearby. Missing. February 8, 1971. Celeste Felton, 13 years old. Beloved adopted daughter of Richard Felton and Ariana Gallo. You ran away from home, isn't that so? Why did you end up in this godforsaken place? Assigned by Flemington Institute to the Foster Home and Work Project at the Ashman Inn, 1973. Jennifer, just over two years older. Unknown parents, it's you. Isn't it? 
Celeste Felton. Mitch, Mr. Ashman is waiting for you. Did you say Reed? Are you a relative? More like an old family friend. Please come in, Miss Reed. Come in. Don't be afraid. I don't bite. What is Reed? Pardon? Good evening, Mr. Ashman. You've certainly come a long way. You have gone from simple larceny and battery all the way to homicide and arson. Are you here to prod in your resume? Do you remember me? I'll never forget your face. Maybe because I don't have one anymore. I know exactly why you're here. The same exact reason why that son of a bitch Felton ended up like cooked meat. What ever happened to Celeste Felton? I have here a dossier from the Flemington Girls Institute granting custody of 15-year-old girl Jennifer and certifying that she is to be a housekeeper at this hotel. Celeste Felton and the girl in the photo are the same person, aren't they? That girl was simply an orphan, a homeless nobody, and so I decided to take custody of her. And she just so happened to be the adoptive daughter of your former hated business partner, Felton, by pure coincidence? <laughs> I don't buy it. So, you're saying that besides synthesizing pharmaceutical drugs and spreading diseases, Mr. Felton and yourself were all dedicated to helping homeless minors? It was never about synthesizing a disease. Because the disease never existed. And the moths? Woken up at last. Hey, hey, calm down. I, I barely touched her. No, it wasn't a dream. I found you at the bottom of the stairs. You hit your head and lost a lot of blood. It was as if you were dead, Jim. Andrea went crazy. You must eat or drink something, young lady. She wanted to kill me. That's not possible, Jennifer. Andrea was with me. Here you go. Drink up. I am sure of what I saw. Everything is all right now. Calm down. There was also a large man. He had a, a, a strange wooden stick shaped like a spine. Poor Slim. That man is dead, young lady. No, I, I saw him. He was the one who pushed me down the stairs. You called him Wyman! That thing is no longer Professor Wyman. Andrea! That man is dead, and has been for a long time. He hung himself. You see, you were just dreaming. I... 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 I, I don't understand. Jen, you have to calm down now. You believe me, Lynn, don't you? You believe me, right? <laughs> She should get some rest now. Jen, if you need anything... I'm here for you. <laughs>